Okay, just going to show a little training session with Hunky. Um, what I'm going to be working on is actually a few things here. Some basic leadership exercises. Um, make it, working on his sits, downs, and comes. Um, um, in particular, trying to phase him off the body language, using less and less body language. Um, working on his release. Um, his release from a command, let him know there's a beginning and an end. Um, and also going to show a little bit about some real basic um, safety equipment to use with the dog that you're unsure of how they're, go they're going to react. Um, you know, when you're dealing with a dog with um, aggression issues and you're unsure what's going to set them off, um, you know, if I get bit, it's really not his, his fault because some of the things I'm going to do could possibly, you know, pro provoke, provoke the bite. Um, so, with these things right here are gauntlets, you know, they are neoprene in the center, um, and they have other uh, lines with, uh, with Kevlar. And these are good for a dog that has a history of doing um, soft tissue, you know, injuries, which he, which he does. I don't, I haven't known him to be trying to break someone's arm or anything, so this should be, this should be, uh, you know, sufficient. He does go to bite me. The idea is really just to stay calm and still as possible, and um, don't you know? Don't feed into the uh, the you know into the aggression with the dog. You know, and, and to diffuse you know to diffuse it e easily. Um, this thing right here is um, just a groin protector. It's going to kind of look like a G-string on me. You know, when, when I put it on, um, you know, just to protect. You know, the only other really vulnerable part that I'm, that I'm worried about. You know, I don't want to get bit there and go home and explain explain that to, to, my, to my wife. So that's what this is for. Um, and I'll use these in a moment when we get to, uh, you know, part of the training where these are going to be these are going to be necessary. Okay. Now, one of the things we are doing with uh, Hunky is. Um, some just real basic leadership stuff, which means he's already getting used to it. This is, he came Monday, this is Saturday. Getting him used to that he just cannot get attention whenever he wants. So he kind of has to wait for, for my cue. Um, so even just some affection, which he is a, a very affectionate dog, isn't really free anymore. And if we want our hands to be a powerful motivator, we don't want it to be for free for him. Um, so just simply him being able to get my hands on him is a good enough reason for him to respond to me. All right, all right, boy, get, get over here, boy. Come here, monkey, you good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. So this is a good, good, good boy. Good, good, good boy. He showed really nice signs to me. He likes my hands being on him because he appreciates it. Um, and also his. Uh, his experience with me so far has been nothing but trusting. I haven't done anything to him that should cause any kind of discomfort uh, uh, at, at all. So, um, you know, we're, you know, trust is going to be, you know, an important, important part of his, uh, of his uh, training. Um, so I'm going to do some, like, sits, downs, and comes and mix it up, you know, with some praise and, and love. So, so treats are going to be his reward and love is going to be his, his reward. So let's see. I'll put the camera over here. Hunky, uh, come. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. Good. Uh, I like to teach the dogs that there's a beginning and an end to, to every exercise. Um, so he knows the word sit. He came to the word sit. Good boy. I let him know he did the good thing by telling him good boy and then free. When I tell him free, he's released from the command. He gets the treat. This is going to build upon other things you know, we're going we're to do with him. Um, over here, the next thing I'm going to do is just work on his down. He knows the down pretty good, but you have to bend over to the ground to really make him do it. So what I'm doing is trying to get him to pay attention more to what um, I'm actually saying. Uh, and last, who, who goes there? Close the door. Uh. Oh, you, Nate? Okay. All right, let me just throw Hunky on the, on the, uh, the, the leash first. Oh, I thought, I thought, oh, my fault. I thought you was in there with somebody, talking to somebody. Oh, 
no, I'm talking to the camera. That's okay. Come on in. He'll be fine. That's why I, I thought you had a barrier right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is, you come on in there. You can hang out over, over, over there. Oh, boy. What's that? It's 12 o'clock. What? It's 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. That's when you're supposed to start, start right? Start? Oh, that's why you ain't see me. Oh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taping. I'm, I'm taping. sitting there, I'm waving my hands, <laughs> I'm going crazy. I'm like, how come you don't see me? <laughs> cool, so you do this. This is like uh, an instructional video, or this is uh, um, basically a recap of what you're doing with Hucky for the uh, people, for the media? Um, no, I'm going to put this, I'm going to YouTube this. This is all, this is all recorded. I'm going to stick it on. I'm just going to stick it on my blog to show people what he's doing this week. So anyway, this is uh, Nathaniel Benia back there. Um, he's uh, he's one of the trainers that helps out over, over here. He hasn't quite interacted with Punky yet, but you can see um, some of the things I've been doing um, this week with him. A lot of leadership stuff um, does actually communicate to him. That he doesn't have to worry so much about his surroundings. Um, so even just someone walking in the room, he hasn't really showed much, you know, much, much of an issue with. And what we're going to do is I'm going to unhook, um, unhook Hunky. He'll be fine with Nate. Nate's just going to going to ignore him. If he goes to Nate for affection, he's just going to ignore ignore Hunky. All right. <laughs> so you can see Hunky is uh, very attention starved over here. So Hunky, Hunky, come, good boy. So he's going to come where he can get it, all right? So he's going to get the treat. He's going to get affection. Good boy. You're not getting it over there. Hunky, come. Hunky, come. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good. Great. And wouldn't suggest anyone just, you know, just come in the room with a dog and doing aggression rehab. But Nate's been doing this for about 10 years, aggression rehab, you know, a certified, certified trainer. He knows how to act around the dog. And this right here is the reaction, let's see, of a dog, you know, who really doesn't know Nate at all. I can see he's going over there, you know, for, for affection. I mean, definitely his first reaction here isn't just to go attack someone. That's... That that's for for sure. I mean, he's he you know it has to be provoked you know provoked from him. If uh, Nate grabbed him by the ears or I don't know grab grab his back or something, he might might get a, a protest a protest bite in. But of course we're not going to do that with him until we start you know until we start doing work you know with, with that and and in, in, in particular. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. Good. Okay. You have an itch. Okay. Down. 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 Good boy. So he needs a little body language still for doing the doing doing the down. Okay. time I, I tell him down, I bend over a little bit less and less, just to get him to pay attention to more to what I'm saying and not what I'm doing with, with, with my hands. The goal will be here with him just to be able to say down and know what I'm actually saying eventually. Down. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh, you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job, little good boy. Sit. Good boy. Great. That's a smart boy. Good. Hunky. Good boy. Good. Hunky. Down. Down. Good boy. Great. Good. Good boy. So these are things we're working on with them. The other thing that we're going to uh, do with them is some more leadership exercise. Exercise. The main leadership exercise you know you're seeing here is just um, making sure the dog isn't the one soliciting the you know the the attention. He can't just come around and you know boss the humans in his world into really doing things. It's a really quick way to lose the dog's respect if he has 
an assertive, you know, a more assertive per, per, per personality. And it could end up actually um, causing problems in other areas that you wouldn't think are directly related, such as thinking he's supposed to be the one who's in charge of the door, he's supposed to be the one who's worried about um, people entering the area that, you know, that, that we're in. You know, whoever handles Hunky, uh, which will be Barji, it'll be really important for her to constantly communicate that they're the one that call, calls the shot and every, the shots in everyday interaction or else she's just going to be battling against mo mo Mother Nature, really. But he takes the back seat really well. He actually th you know, thrives in this kind of, kind of environment where he can't just solicit attention or, or call the shots. Right here, some boy. Hunky. Hunky, come. Hunky. 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 Good boy. Good boy. There we go. That's a good boy. So that's how he gets his attention, by listening to us. So we're not mean, we're not, not petting him, we're just giving it in spurts from our heart, um, you know, when he actually, you know, when, 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 when we, tell, we tell him to. Sorry for the stuttering problem this morning. Uh, I'm going to use, show some of, the, uh, some of the safety equipment here, which we use. It's better safe, you know, it's better safe than sorry. You know, you can't do training, you know, doing aggression rehabilitation um, um, as your full-time job and not use safety equipment because just like a carpenter is going to get hit himself with uh, with the hammer every once in a while, you know, a trainer could, could, could misjudge the, the dog. Um, Hunky doesn't really strike me as a dog that would snap for the exercise that I'm going to do, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, um, so this way... Um, if he ever did snap, it's not a big deal. I know what causes him. I, I learned what causes him to snap, so then we can work on it. So these, like I said, I just put on my forearms to protect against soft tissue, uh, um, you know, injury. If he did snap, I have something to kind of feed him, and I could stay calm, and then um, you know, and show, you know, and not make the problem worse by sh giving aggression back to him um, or giving any kind of real struggle. Um, this right here is my uh, is my my thong, which normally I wear this without my pants on, and just kidding, and high heels. Uh, not really. This is like I said, like I said before, just to protect uh, protect the groin here. Uh, okay, I feel feel great. Um, now, we're going to play a little, a little game with him. I experimented with different types of things that Hunky likes and doesn't like. Um, um, he's going to need a way to kind of, uh, you know, relieve his restless spirit. All, all dogs do have the, um, you know, do have an actual desire to, to um, you know, to relieve this restless spirit. I mean, he's obviously some kind of golden, looks like a golden retriever, lab mix. Um, if you don't give him something to do, something to chase after, something to grab onto, um, he's, he's going to be miserable. He's going to find he's going to find his own his own outlets for his his restless spirit. Um, now, as a foundation style dog trainer, um, you would never play a game of tug, which is what I'm going to play with them, unless you've established or you're demonstrating leadership towards the dog. Um, tug can be a very bad um, game to, to, to play with a dog if you're doing it the wrong way. Because if it's done the wrong way, you accomplish um, the opposite of what you're looking to do. If Hunky felt he owned this tug right here, and he gave it to me, and I played with him, all I'm just kind of doing is reinforcing that um, he's in charge of things around here, that he owns a tug toy, that he could bring it to me, he could play and walk away with it. Which is, if we had a couple of dogs in the room, normally... It's the dog that's in charge that's going to be leading those kind of games. But since I want to be the one who's in charge of his world over here, I'm going to have the tug, and I'm going to play with him. And it's a really great way um, you know, to also reinforce your own leadership to the dog, tire them out, um, and, and, and teach them some, some obedience by incorporating a, a, a toy into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play tug with him, um, which he's going to enjoy doing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to control the game by just not making it fun for him every once in a while. When I'm going to stop the game, make it not fun, I'm going to use a word called out, which he might not really know, for him to release it. 
Um, if he doesn't release it on the word out, I'll just say the word sit. But he'll pick up on the word out. I'm going to stay very calm. The energy is very important, so he doesn't think um, con confrontational at all. As soon as he releases it, I'm just going to give it, reward him for listening to me by giving it back to him and, and continuing the game with him. The last time I take it away from him and I put it back with my stash, and he's never going to have his own stash. I'm always going to have my stash. I'm just going to give him, give him a treat. So let's see if Hunky wants to play with me. Oh, yes, you will, all right? Hunky set. Good boy. Hunky free. Good boy. There we go. Now, when doing rehab, it's really important if you use like a tug to have like some kind of, uh, I always put like a rope on things. This way I never have to put myself in a situation where I could put myself in danger or I set the dog up for failure. Even if somehow he got this thing away from me, I don't have to wedge it out of his mouth. I just go grab, you know, grab the, the rope and I have control over, over it again. So I play these games. Go boy. Make it fun. I'm going to interact with them. It's a really good way during play, too, for me to test out his touch sensitivities. Um, because he's a... Uh, He's already kind of in a playing mode. My body language is very playing. It's not threatening to him. Oh boy. And I can kind of feel him around while I'm petting him. And these are the reasons why I use, you know, use these uh, protective things on my arm over here. Oh boy, everything he's showing me is uh, pretty much normal, what I get with most dogs that I play. We'll get some play growls in there. Um, and this is all really normal. Now, for him to release it, well, dude, just hold it completely still. Hunky out. Oh, what a good boy. Hunky set. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, look at you. Look at you. What a good boy. Good boy. This is a great game for him. What's also good about this is after the training session, he'll really uh, be able to go down and relax in his kennel. You know, he shouldn't feel, you know, it really drains him out. It's good for a rainy day to do this if, if you can't throw around a ball outside for, for a dog. Knowing how to play tug properly is really, is really great. Oh, good boy. Oh, oh, oh. good boy. What's that? Oh, you do? Um, with the final spot upstairs. Good boy. Funky out. Good boy, Hunky said. You're so good boy, good boy. Good boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, you're a strong boy. What a good boy. Again, getting him used to me, touching me, it's all within trust. Um, it has to greatly outweigh the touching and petting that I'm doing to him. It has to greatly outweigh any kind of prodding that is done to him. Sooner or later, something's going to happen. He might have, have an ear infection or something. I might have to peek in his ear. But we want his good experiences to far outweigh anything, anything bad with me. Oh, boy, Hunky, what do you got? What do you got? We'll try it around with it for a little while. Really important, I mean, I got this dog on joint supplements. I said I'm, I'm working on cutting down his weight a little bit. To the average person, he might look fine, his weight. But um, um, but working with working dogs, um, you will find that they're more prone to injury. The more the more weight you have on the dog, even just taking a few off on him is gonna is gonna really help him out. Help him out a lot. Oh boy, Hunky. Oh boy. Good. Good. Hunky. Out. Out. Good boy. Hunky set. That's a good boy. Great. Good job. Good job. Oh, boy. Where'd it go? He lost it. He's getting kind of tired out already, so um, needs to build up a little, little, little more endurance here. But he still has, he still has a desire to play here. But I'm going to end it on a good note with him. I put this away in my stash, and it's a good leadership exercise. He's not telling me when it's time to play. Oh, that's a free one for you. Um, he's not telling me when it's time to play. I tell him when it's time to play. Good boy. So this goes back. Oh. And um, I generally end the session by, um, you know, by 
pretty much, you know, ignoring the dog for, you know, a minute, half a minute. I'm not going to necessarily just give him attention right away. It's these little subtle things that really count. He's waiting on my cue for what's next. What's next, Mike? You know, uh, next for him is, is breakfast time. You know, this is a training session. You know, in the morning, I like to do a training session. Um, you know, before I, I, before I feed him, just because you know, you know, it will help reduce the risk of, of, of bloat. I want to feed him and then take him out and then train him after he gets his breakfast. I generally like to wait at least three hours before I would do any, you know, any other kind of activity where he might run around or exert himself, but he's kind of tired out, so he'll eat his breakfast and be, be happy for a while inside of his, uh, inside of his uh, crate. So, let's see. You ready, Hunky? Let's go, buddy. Good boy. Okay, set. That's a good, good boy. All right, say goodbye to the camera, handsome. Say goodbye. Set. Good boy, you're on the screen. Oh, good boy. Free. Who's a good boy? <clears throat>